Boom! What's going on, boys? Today we're going to expose some more delusion, following on from yesterday's video talking about women thinking that they can fight men using the self-defense techniques. We can be sometimes led to believe that maybe it's only a select few women who believe this. But I believe the problem is a little bit more widespread because of the feminist movement, the equality movement. Women can do it too, we can fight just like men. And the algorithm's speaking to me because I was in the shower before and it fed me this clip and I thought, this is perfect following on from yesterday. We'll do a little bit of a commentary video video on it, watch it together, and that way we can experience the cringe and delusion as a team on this channel. Oh, and I hope you like the new setup as well, a little bit of a light and change. I told you I'm going to get there, getting my studio decked out. Right, so we have women thinking that they can fight men. Let's see what they're saying. Really? You think you can fight a guy? Yeah. You really think you can fight a guy? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yes. Fight you. Yes. Yes. Let me fight you. Yes. yes. I was sparring well, with My ex him. was 6'5". Yes. That doesn't matter, up. though. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I'm going to disagree with you guys. She said, my ex was 6'5", and I beat him up. <laughs> I would never put my hands like, on a man what? because I don't want my man Putting putting his hands, hands on, on me. Exactly. But I don't think I could even square up to a man. Even though I know I could fight real good or whatever you want to say, I would mm. never. Okay, okay, so okay. here's the thing. Here's the thing. You, you guys, we live in such times of peace that you guys don't even know the chaos that a 15-year-old boy can do to you. I'll tell you guys this right now. You two, you, what, three of you said you could fight a man? <laughs> A 14-year-old boy will fuck each of you up. I <laughs> promise you. A 14-year-old boy. Never. Men have 10 times as much testosterone as you. We have stronger bone density. We have higher VO2 max. We have higher lung capacity. We have more blood. We can literally destroy a woman. Here's another thing. And I understand. Hold on. Hey, maybe not in all cases, but if you don't, like, fight to the death, winner takes all, 14-year-old boy versus one of these women, and you had to go all out, the chances are the boy is going to win. It's sad to say. Obviously, it depends. Completely individual. Yeah, it depends. You know, you've got a woman who's maybe a professional boxer in there and a little skinny boy who's like three foot two. Then, yeah, may maybe it's not going to work. But they're the extremes and we do not use that as the example. So what do you mean you can fight a man then? Wait a minute. In self-defense? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, but like what if, Who? Okay, what if you're fighting him and it, he's it, not hitting you back? Like that's not a fight. Right, listen yeah, listen how they changed the arguments. So the initial argument was you cannot beat up a man and they all went, Yeah, we can, yeah, we can. My ex was six foot five and I used to be his ass. Now listen how as the argument evolves, we got these birds down here. Maybe I should put me camera up here so you can all see the delusion take place in real time. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> if he's not trying to go crazy with it, like if you still, you feel me, you're winning the fight because he's not trying to go. That's hard my on point. You. That's uh, my point. Duh. Okay, yeah. So now, once again, <laughs> that argument changed fast. She went from, I can beat up my ex who was six foot five, to then, uh, as long as he's not going crazy with it or fighting back. Okay. Delusion meter is getting triggered right now. Now, if he's trying to go hard, then okay. yeah, yeah. what are you going to do if he actually table. decides to hit you back? Right. Real hard. For real. real. Then you just got to stop fighting. What do you mean? No. Because right. now you done got no. knots. All right. So let her, let her say a friend real quick. You you were saying something? Yeah. And, okay. then, and then you can go next. Go ahead. I'm saying in a self-defense kind of thing. Like, okay, I don't know about y'all, but I'm speaking for myself. No, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. If y'all man or guy friend, whatever, hit y'all. Y'all not going to defend yourself. My man wouldn't be hitting me I in the first am. place. Well, this is what I'm saying. You 100%. Never, first of, okay, wait a minute, though. You just never know. Because sometimes exactly. people just blank out. So mm -hmm. we're going to say, okay. So we're going to say, if he was to all, uh, like all of a sudden just hit you, you're going to be shocked. But yeah. then if he continues to hit you, you're going to stand there? So you're going to hit him back and then get it even worse. He's going to beat you up real bad this yeah. time. If a fella hits you... It's night, night. I don't know if any of you guys have seen The Woman King. I haven't seen it because it was a bunch of Hollywood feminist propaganda. But there's a scene in it with this big black guy, about six foot five, going, Rapa! taking these big swings, punching the, the female woman the tribe leader. And she's just going, uh, 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 and just taking these punches off this absolute unit of a fella. And she's just like, and then she wins. So, like, you've got these women in real life who are seeing films like this, seeing movie scenes, and thinking, oh, that's what it'll be like. I'll take a punch, and then I'll take another punch. But you're not going to... The truth is, you're not going to be standing even after the first punch. Back to the delusion. Okay, here's the thing. Um, You run. You yeah. don't sit there and try to fight him. 
You run. What are you going to do? Are you seriously going to try to square up with him? No, you're going to hit him. And stop, stop, even stop, stop. What are you seriously going to do if he hits you? What, tell me about this self-defense. I don't even want to say that. Like, no, 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 no. I really want to hear this because I, it, because I might save your life because real talk, any of you ladies that really think you can fight a man, you're fucking stupid. I'm dead serious. <laughs> well, I had a, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. If you seriously think, if any lady on this panel seriously thinks you can fight a man, you're fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. You're literally stupid. retarded. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and I don't give a fuck if I offend your feelings. And that's that might save your life. I'm not offended. I might all. save your life <laughs> because real talk. If you think you can sit there and do jujitsu, you went to a jujitsu class, or you went to an anti-rape class, or you think that you did some crab magra and you could actually get a guy off of you, bro. A twelve-year-old boy will literally fuck any of you all up at the table. Best anti-rape class would be teaching you how to be ugly. Ah. Uh, too soon. <laughs> Just joking. Before they get cancelled, I'm messing. I'm joking. I love women. <laughs> I promise you, mm -hmm. men are physically superior to women. There's a reason why there's an NBA, not a WNBA. There's a reason why high school boys destroy women national team in soccer. There's a reason why yep. Serena Williams lost to a hungover guy ranked 97th in a tennis exhibition match. World champion, best tennis player ever, destroyed by a man that's hungover. You cannot compete with a man. Men are physically superior to women in every which way. If you try to fight a guy, you're going to lose. My best suggestion, get a gun or run. Mm -hmm. yeah. Period. Can and yeah. Gun or run. Unfortunately for women in the UK, we don't have that privilege of owning guns. That's why in yesterday's video, I talked about trying to gain an advantage in other ways. So if you have the inability to run, trying to use a weapon that's on you, trying to go for the balls, eye gouging, just trying to create as much chaos as possible, screaming for help. You need to use different tactics. You cannot meet a man head on, physicality for physicality, and succeed. There are rare instances where it works, but it is the rarity. That's what I was saying. Mm -mm. Okay. Because you were saying self-defense as if I'm going to self fight. But self-defense is self-defense. So I never, I never was very specific of saying I was going to fight. You nodded your head when I said you think you could beat up a man. Yeah, you nodded I your never, head. First of all, self-defense is self-defense. I'm not saying fighting. I know that a man is stronger than a woman physically. And we're stronger than a man mentally. That's true. But what? What? She said wait. We're stronger than men, mentally. I don't know if I agree with that. Maybe in different realms, different capacities, sure. But there's a reason the 99% of the world's geniuses, inventors, mathematicians, physicists, engineers are all men. So to generalize it like that and say women are mentally, okay, you could say there's a difference between mentally and intellectually. But I don't know. I would still argue the... Well, are men mentally stronger? Women are mentally stronger in different capacities. Maybe the fact that they have to go through childbirth. Women tend to have a lot more patience. Women are a little bit more social creatures. They're better with people. Whereas men typically are more so about the numbers, the logic, the facts, less emotion. So it, it just depends how you're boiling it down. But we're talking about fighting here. And I don't know, I think maybe... In a fighting capacity, men tend to have a bit more grit because it's built within us on a genetic level. We have to fight through. We have to go and chase that lion. Ah, I just slit his throat. Ah, well, maybe not a lion, maybe a buffalo. That's the way we've been genetically engineered, if you like, over the thousands of years. You know, the women have stayed in the cave cooking the food that we went out and friggin' almost died to get and hunt. Comment down below what you guys think. What I'm saying is I never said, oh, I'm going to fight him back. You never let me finish what I said I was going to say. I'll just let everybody else kept talking. But if a man is constantly hitting you and hitting you and hitting you, you're going to keep running and he's going to keep beating you up and beating you up. No, you got to you got to do something to right. fight back. Not always fight with your hands, but you have to do something to get him off of you or you're going to be dead. Right. So it's going to be either you or him. That wasn't right. a scenario, though. That wasn't a scenario. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about... Right. Yeah, 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 I mean, she's right, but that's not what you're talking about. You're talking about fighting a guy straight yeah, up, and yeah. you were, and you nodded your head. I could fight a man, and yeah. I was like, you drunk. That's totally cool. Go ahead. Hold on. Yeah, go ahead. Shout out to the bartender. And you said you could beat up a guy, too, which is hilarious. Hold on. So, yes. Yes. Um, Sparring training for boxing. Yes. Um, Keep laughing. That's fine. We can go around when you're done. Um, you seriously think you can fight me? Yes. And I knock you out. <laughs> and I knock you out. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, she says, and I would knock you out. Oh, <laughs> guys, give us this video a like for the delusion, please. But the reason that you're. <laughs> can we set it up? <laughs> yeah, we set it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can do that. 
Yo, yo, she's delusional, bro. Chat. She's delusional. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <that hurts. laughs> so, Tell the chat how tall are you, how much you weigh, real quick. Just so eight, one eighty. First off, she weighs one eighty. She weighs more than the average man. So not on no ratchet shit. Literally, like it just comes down to that technical shit. But when you're in fight or flight, like you're actually in the situation of holy fuck. My significant other is beating the fuck up on me. You're in the survival mode. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm prepared to fight you, that's a different story. But if we're in survival mode, like, personally, it was my own fault that, I, like, my ex that I was with for almost four years beat up on me all the time. That's my fault. I stayed with his ass. You know what I'm saying? But during those situations, yeah, he's going to fucking overpower you. Yeah. Absolutely. Because you're looking at it like, Oh my god, I love him so much. Oh my god, what's happening? It's you're you're blindsided. Okay, yeah. Willie or not, you knew he was gonna do this shit because you stayed with him, you know. But at the, it's that physical. He's a man. I become this cowardly woman because you didn't expect that from him. You know, there's a difference. The scenario was fighting a man. Now you're talking about self defense, which I mean, if you're gonna say self defense, I think the best self defense is either a gun or if you or you run. Trying to fight a guy, you're gonna take an L. Trying to grapple a guy is even worse, and. You saying that you can box me? I mean, that you, uh. yeah. Just so you know, it's always easier to beat someone who's bigger when it's just striking only. The moment that weight becomes a really big advantage is when it's in a grappling scenario. Uh, with all we respect, should get it on, uh, we you're should get delusional. It on the balcony. You're delusional. You're literally delusional. Okay, can I say what I have to say? I'm I mean, next after you. I, I don't even know what to, uh, ladies. Just oh, I'm gonna say because this is very destructive. Here's the thing that 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 scares me. <laughs> I tell women all the time, if you're ever in a situation, number one, you know, if there's a violent situation with a potential guy, number one, don't be close to him. Number two, run because you cannot physically compete with him. Now, if you're in a situation where you're self-defense, whatever, hopefully you have a weapon because that's going to be the only real equalizer. Yeah. The advice that you're giving is destructive because women cannot fight with men. And that rhetoric right there is I why so many women. I said training. I said that. It doesn't matter technical... if you're training. No, 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 no. They are not. Even if you're they trained, you're missing the point. And they know it. That's why they nodded when you Here's said that. Here's the thing. That. Here's the thing. No. Even if you're trained. You will still lose. That's my point. I nodded for possibility. What probability, not possibility. Like, because even if you're trained, like he just said, even if you're trained, you are still going to lose. That's what Aww. I'm trying to tell you. You go to a couple boxing classes or whatever it may be. Not it's one thing to spar with. It's one thing to spar with some guys in the gym where they're not going to hit you with full force and they're going to be easy on you. It's another thing to get punched in the face by a dude. <laughs> Repeat no boxing glove yeah. for real. Can I? I know I've got a few boys on this channel who train, and you know what it's like if you've ever sparred with girls. You go easy. It's the way it is. And then even when the girls go hard and you give them a little crack back, you're still going easy. If you've ever went a hundred percent sparring with another man, you know how like dangerous that shit is like you get caught it's night night you know you get rocked a little bit and then if you take that same energy and apply it to spar them with a woman they would literally have no chance they'd fall from the first punch i've trained with some really really good female fighters muay thai kickboxing and they'll put it on me i always just let them lead so usually when i'm sparring a girl that's typically what lads will do is you let the girl lead a little bit let her get a little bit more practicing on you because you know you're bigger stronger you can take more of a punch and you can hurt them a lot easier than they can hurt you so you let them lead the situation and then sometimes the the confidence grows and grows and grows because then they think that they're getting the upper hand they're beating you but they're not you're just letting them take the lead and you're letting them get shots off on, on you. So then you've kind of got to let them know that, look, you know, I am going easy. So here's a quick bum, bum, one, two, and a little leg kick. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> the tides change very quick. They realize that, oh, damn, like, he was actually just letting me get off on him here. Pause. You don't have the physical structure to take a male punch. And I'm not saying I'm going to go on the street, <laughs> look at you, and be like, oh, fuck, you got a gun probably, or like this and this and this, or, oh, he's asking for my wallet. I'm not gonna look and be like, let me, let me, let me spar with you. Real quick. <laughs> I'm not gonna post up with you. Like, I would do what you said. I. The fact that she said, "Let me spar with you," and had a thumb out a bathroom. She's like, "Let me spar with you." That's that goes to show that she hasn't got a clue what she's doing. You see, girls, they'll do that, and they'll go, and the thumbs are out, and they go. You, you see the uh, the ghetto girls do it as well, and they go, even lads do it, as well, and they go like that. And that's how you know that someone hasn't got a clue what they're doing. They stand there with the thumbs like this because they just copy. Let's go, man. Let's go. You haven't got a clue. It's either hands open or hands closed, not the thumbs. Hey, give me a car, bro. I literally just brought that example up. That's why I had my idiot reaction. 
You can't find a man, bro. Okay. I don't care what you say. You cannot find a man from a biological standpoint. Okay. We've seen men destroy women in fighting situations. Look at MMA situations. They literally had a guy, right? That (laughs) a a, a trans guy, right? That was had his hormones suppressed and everything. Went up against a champion female fighter. Beat the fuck out of her. Yeah. Okay. He's still a guy. Yeah. Here's the thing. Boxing, all men's hole. Yo, no. I, I okay, can't can believe all mental. Yeah, can we move on? You mean, no, lights out. I need to say one thing. Bro, I Let's can't believe. On. Okay, can I just say right what now. I have? She's just saying what someone else has said. She's just there, that being said somewhere, and just saying it. She doesn't know what she's on about. Look at her face. Confusion. She's like, boxing, all mental. Isn't it? Isn't it? No. Fighting. 80% physical in terms of your actual capabilities and your physicality. And then the 20% is the difference mental. If you have two equally skilled fighters and then someone who is mentally stronger than the other one, then the mentally stronger one is going to have more resilience and is going to have more grit and be able to dig deeper than the mentally weaker one. So it's just a mute point. Boxing is even less uh, less advantageous for you. A man has way longer reach than you. Okay. He gonna fuck you up from back here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yo. 70% mental, 30% physical. So mental? if you've got, like, yes, the reach, the physical, yes, but you're thinking about the literal, like, physicality. How's your mental shit? gonna help you when he hits you on the chin and you lights out? Mm-hmm. You gotta be trolling. Mm-hmm. Just, just trolling, bro. Bro, this shit is dangerous. Yo. Okay. Any women that are watching this podcast, don't whatever, do that. Don't listen to what this girl's <laughs> saying, don't. bro. You, you will end up just yeah. be getting the shit Yo, beat out of you, women bro. Women forget that violence Jaw has no really mercy. Yeah. yeah. If a guy is serious and he punches in your face, you're done. Yeah, you're yeah. dead, bro. So all this mental and I'm, I'm going to be mental and do right. strategy. Nigga, no. one punch in your face, you're done. What are you going to do? And, nah, and, okay. we're, and we're going hard on you like this because what you're saying what is literally fuck? extremely destructive. And bro, some girl might watch this and be like, I could fight a guy yeah. okay, and literally okay, get okay. fucking destroyed. Understood. Understood that. Understood. A hundred percent. And there you go. Absolute delusion. I'm sorry to make you lose some brain cells today, but it's important that we expose this type of stuff. And as Fresh said at the end there, if he had a daughter, he wouldn't be teaching her this type of stuff. Same here as well. If I had a daughter, I would not be trying to tell her that she can fight any man. I'd be teaching her the other things i'd be first off teaching her how to stay away from these situations stay away from certain types of men which means me being a good father in the first place it's important that we talk about delusion on this channel and listen it's not just exclusive to women there's a lot of delusional fellas out there that's why we talk about simps on this channel as well the core fundamentals of everything we talk about on this channel is to make yourself more aware to make yourself smarter to be a better person to be able to navigate the world better and just bring light to this type of stupidity and as i said in yesterday's video if these videos do good i'll do a live demonstration with a woman using some of these self-defense techniques and we'll see we'll see what she can do and i won't pick a weak woman either i'll make sure to pick a girl who lifts and with a bit of sass about it but yesterday's videos didn't really get that many views so it's not looking good guys you gotta go and like that video and like this video and we'll get that live demonstration done okay if you like this type of content make sure you subscribe we upload every single day there's training programs down below some of my music down below check them links out and i'll see you all tomorrow